Well, today we're at the Bakersfield Museum of Art, and with me today I've got Sarah, a student from Reagan Elementary. How are you today? Good. And with us we have Liz. And Liz, what is your title here at the Museum of Art? I'm the education coordinator here. So we've got the perfect person. Absolutely. All right, first of all, before we get into uh, the piece that we're looking at right now, how long has the Bakersfield Museum of Art been operating? We've been here since 1956. Wow, 60 years. This is yeah. a lovely facility. Has it always been here? Uh, it's always been here. We did have a large expansion in 2001 that was completed in 2001. Um, it was a much smaller building before. Okay, and if somebody wanted to come visit the museum, when is it available? We are open uh, Tuesday through Sunday, uh, Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 4 and uh, Saturday, Sunday from noon to four. Okay, well obviously we're here for Do the Math and we wanna see how math applies to art a little bit. So Sarah, we're right here and let's find out from Liz what we're looking at. Okay, so this is a piece by an artist named Kuzana Og. And as you can see, she uses a lot of rulers and shapes yeah. and traces a lot to uh, make sure that all of her shapes and lines are very straight. Yeah. And so I thought this would be an interesting piece because it shows a lot of geometric shapes in it. Yeah. I want to know like how the artist can decide what, how big the painting should be to make it appealing and how many shapes to make it appealing. Great questions. Um, artists put a lot of thought into how large a piece is. Some artists will create works that are giant, as big as a building, and some artists will create teeny, teeny, tiny works. And that, um, that depends really on what, what the artist is trying to say. So um, these are aerial images of oil refineries and oil, uh, oil and water plants. So you can see some of the roads and some of the buildings that she might have taken some of the yeah. um, inspiration from. Mm -hmm. And this size was really, if she went much bigger, it might say a different, tell a different story. And if she went much smaller, it might tell a different story. So this was the ideal size for, for her oh, work. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. And then, um, as you can see, she uses a lot of shapes and colors yes. in her work as well. And artists will use um, a lot of different tools to allow you to see the whole piece. So when you see these pink squares, yeah. your eye goes from these pink squares up to these pink circles uh -huh. because they kind of connect. Yeah. And so she's using those two colors to allow us to see the whole piece. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Sarah, I know that you like this piece and you were asking about the size of it and things like that. Yeah. So scale is one thing that an artist has to take into consideration based on the medium that they're using sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looking at this piece of work right now, how many different shapes can you find up there? Why don't you name them off and kind of point to where that you see them? There's a four triangles right there. There's some rectangles, some squares. There's some circles too. And you were talking about lines, so you can see that the lines, so some of the roads and things like that, and then you got some of the uh, different lines where they're a little bit curved and things like that. Yeah, yeah, so she uses a lot of, a lot of very straight lines, and then she makes it a little playful with these, with these lines that kind of look like ribbons. Yeah. They kind of bring your eye around a little bit more. What do you like the best about this piece, Sarah? I like how the lines, they're like, one section's going one way, and that's going one way. I like how it makes your eyes kind of play with the painting. Well, like yeah. Liz was saying, it kind of plays with the painting a little bit, but it also makes you follow it all the way yeah. around as well, right? That's so funny. the movement aspect of this piece of art is something that she obviously was intending on, right? Oh, yes, yes. And she has a lot of texture in here that this kind of, these lines that she created look like they're very textured, but they're yeah. very flat, but they still allow you to kind of move your eye through. Yeah. All right, well, I know you've got some other art pieces that have to do with math, so let's go check those out. Absolutely. All right, let's go, ladies. Yeah. I think that's what really makes it interesting. I think if it was just lines going all over the place, it would, it would be interesting for different reasons. But having that definite end and beginning, it really makes these pieces um, make you stop and think.